Well, welcome into the Southern Quality Ford GMAN Nation. I'm your host, Tim Owens. So over the next half hour, we'll take a look back at Saturday's big win over Jackson State and a look ahead at this week's home opener against Alabama A&M. We're going to bring you the play and player of the week and talk about the defense and special teams after both units put up points in back-to-back -back weeks. But first, let's go back to Jackson and break down Saturday's big win. Grambling State take it on Jackson State on the road. Pick it up first quarter and Jackson strikes first. Jordan Johnson reaching across the goal line. He's in from two yards out just like that. It is 7-0 Jackson State. Moving ahead late in the half. Now 7-3. Tigers just trying to get out of halftime at this point. Jeremy Hickbottom has the first down on the draw, but the ball pops out. Not looking good for the G-men. But the special teams came to play Saturday night. Just a few ticks left on the clock. DeAndre Hodes breaking through, blocking the field goal. Devonier Martin scoops and scores. 70 yards on the block field goal return. Tigers go into the half with a 10-7 lead and all kinds of momentum. Second series of the third quarter and the G-men strike again. Pick bottom to Lyndon Rash. Six yards on the TD strike. That made it 17-7 GSU. Coach Fobbs has talked all year about needing big plays this season and he got a couple on Saturday this is Kevin Dominique breaking free 59 yards to the house that gave the Tigers a commanding 24-7 lead fourth quarter now 24-14 and Grambling strikes again hit bottom again to rash their fourth TD connection on the season this one from 10 yards out and then two plays later Joseph McWilliams picks off the Derek Ponder pass, and he takes it all the way to the house. 56 yards on the pick six. His second pick six in as many weeks, and the route was on. And then how about one more for good measure? Dominique again, this time from 31 yards out. He finished with 129 yards and 10 carries as the Tigers win big. 44-21 the final. You got to have big plays. And uh, anytime you score uh, with big plays and 50-yard chunks, whether it's an interception, whether it's a, a field goal blocked, or whether it's a run, you need those. You need those. That's, that's the way to be really good offensively. You got to have explosive plays. And we're excited about having those this week. Uh, it feels great because we, we worked so hard at practice all week. And we have big plays at practice, so we just needed to transition over to the game. Uh, we got a lot of talented players on both sides of the ball, and really it's just a hard working team as a unit. We work so hard, and really as a team, as a unit, both offense and defense going at it every day from spending the summer with each other, fall camp, it just feels great to finally get us our first win and put one in the W column. And this team changed after that blocked field goal. It feels like the kids came out with much more confidence in the second half after that momentum change. Yeah, I mean, that was a huge play in the ball game. You know, we were struggling, you know, mightily in the first half. And, you know, and then we, we lost the momentum on the fumble going into that particular drive. Uh, really just trying to get out the half. Just trying to run quarterback draw to get a first down so that we can keep the ball. And the worst thing happened was the turnover. But our kids kept playing. I can't say enough. You know how much our character really reveals itself in this tough time that we've been going through. So I'm so happy for the kids, but we still have a lot of work to do. A big win for the Tigers over there in Jackson on Saturday night. Still to come on the Southern Quality Four G Men Nation. I tell you why the play of the week could be a momentum changer for the entire season. Plus, we named this week's Southern Quality Ford Player of the Week. Stay with us.